data is at the very center of giving the customer a great experience so we believe that ai will be all pervasive all transformative to the point of reimagination of many of the current set of things being done in the airline industry Today, I'm joined by Dr. Sacha Ramaswamy, Chief Digital and Technology Officer of Air India. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Sacha. Oh, thank you, Leandro. Pleasure. Air India has such a storied history. I'd love to hear how the transformation has happened and your participation in it. Absolutely. So, Air India is India's national flag carrier, and we have been on a massive transformation journey, transformation across all areas, all touch points, you know, on the ground, in the air, and in the cyberspace. Uh, the Economist magazine called it uh, the Everest of corporate turnarounds. <laughs> so it's, it's such a massive <laughs> transformation. And obviously in digital space, we are transforming it entirely. The customer touch points and all the infrastructure that applications that go behind the customer touch points, which you are completely transforming, building it from the ground up into a very modern uh, setup. From a customer experience perspective, customer support perspective, we have adopted Salesforce, our platform. Uh, which drives our contact center. Our, uh, it also supports the customer support aspects of the chatbot, and it uh, allows us to get good vision about the customers in a very 360-degree fashion. So it's a massive transformation journey that you're on, and uh, we are almost in the second year completion of this journey right now. Wow, so much you've accomplished in two years. And I just want to pick up on one element. The customer support center, yeah. I think you mentioned, has received 555,000 calls a month, Yeah. right? So <laughs> how does your team handle that? And uh, how do you think about that volume? Absolutely. It is uh, almost half a million calls a month is a uh, tremendous amount it's of crazy volume. crazy scale, yes. Uh, absolutely. So we need to give our customer support agents all the things that we can do to help uh, perform their job better, you know, treat the customer with a lot of empathy and provide them the information that they can use to serve the customer better. So a lot of the systems have to be integrated with the customer support system. And uh, Salesforce is a true on the cloud digital platform, which is well api well integrated with everything, makes our job that much easier in uh, being able to provide the customer support agents with the most up-to-date information about the customer as well as the challenges that they may be facing. About a year ago, we deployed the airline industry's very first generative AI based chatbot. It has answered about 2 million queries so far, about 20,000 queries a day, and uh, it has a, what is called as a containment ratio, which is the number of queries that are handled automatically by the chatbot versus being escalated to an agent. So that ratio stands at about 93% today which means that only those support queries that are a little bit complex mm. uh, need to be handled with more human touch gets escalated to the customer support uh, channel. By keeping the customer support agents free of a lot of the you know, questions that can be handled in an autonomous fashion to the satisfaction of the customer and then providing the contact center agents with uh, Salesforce and all its capabilities, we have been able to support our contact center agents do a good job. I'm sure that the folks listening online are going to be blown away. You've delivered the single source of truth uh, and you've also essentially brought the Gen AI capabilities and automated your workflow. So people uh, you know, wanting to do this, you've achieved it in a couple of years. So very impressive. I guess fundamental to that is data, right? Because yes. you talked about bringing those systems together and you've also got multiple airline brands, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you help us unpack a little bit, like how did you go about that journey? Yeah, of course. Data is at the very center of giving the customer a great experience. We need to have a single view of the customer for the Air India Airline Group because the customer could be coming and flying Air India Express today, but tomorrow they may be flying Air India. Yes. So data is, again, the very center of uh, giving the customer a great experience. And we have adopted Salesforce customer data platform as a single source of truth for all customer-supported related data, which means that uh, whether the customer comes in via the email mm -hmm. or via the chatbot or the customer directly calls the contact center, and also, if, for example, when the customer is flying, they are interacting with our uh, cabin crew, yes. who are our brand ambassadors, and in fact, the most influential brand ambassadors who have a big impact on the customer satisfaction and net promoter score. For example, when you board one of our airplanes and the cabin crew has the iPad, which is connected to the customer data platform data, they know that, okay, you might have gone through a delay or a disruption before, so now maybe I will give you a complimentary drink you know, while you're right. up there. and essentially recover the customer, right? So that they remain loyal to their India brand. I love what you share. The in-flight experience is when you're directly in, in line with your brand ambassadors. 
And it's so obvious when they don't have the data about all the other things they've done before. So you've connected the dots and they're truly impressive. I guess you mentioned AI earlier, which is the second part of what you've delivered. Um, and I think you mentioned AI.G, yeah. right? How, firstly, how did you come up with that name? What? Yeah, it is. Uh, so AI is obviously artificial yes. intelligence, but uh, we tend to say that we are the we are the first AI, meaning Air India is AI. Okay. And G is uh, the Indian salutation, which is gender neutral. So oh, okay. man or woman, you can call... Suppose if it is you are Leon, Leandro, Leandro, I yes. call them Leandro G, right? Okay, so oh, wow. That's, that's a salutation. I love that trivia. How did you come then to the way you implemented the AI there? Obviously, you're trying to give capability. I think you mentioned basically 93% deflection of cases. Yes. Incredible results. Maybe share with the customers here how they, how they can do the same thing. Absolutely. So AI today, the gen, current generation of AI, pushes everything to a next level altogether. You know, the 93% of the queries that are answered are fully answered by the, by the chatbot. It's impressive. But the 7% that don't get answered get escalated to the agent through the Salesforce integration. We still are able to help the agent with the suggested responses, mm. right? So again, using Einstein, we are able to suggest that, you know, this is the customer's query and based on the case history. And of course, it is left to the agent whether they take it and use it as is or they take it, modify yeah, it. Yeah, human in the loop still. Human there. in the loop, yeah. Yes. Human in the loop. So you can apply, uh, the, the agent can apply the judgment to use it, but... We give them the opportunity. When you come to knowledge articles that need to be uh, provided, that Gen AI can summarize all that and provide just the gist of it so that you know, in, a, in an instant, the agent is suddenly able to respond quickly uh, with all that knowledge. I love your sort of two approaches. First, reducing the volume yeah. um, to really just narrow in on the ones that need the human touch. Yes. And then that second part of augmenting the agents, right, to yes. let them focus. And I love what you said, like empathize with yeah. the customer yeah. um, through the summarization and also next best actions. It's really, truly fascinating. The way you talk about it, it seems so obvious, right? But many customers are still struggling with this journey. So how did you bring your C-suite along and the rest of your organization only two years after such a big change. Oh, absolutely. That is very, very important. Obviously, this cannot be done by the digital organization alone. So we need to have the support of the top management and, uh, you know, many times the board. And, you know, thankfully, we have a chairman who is from the tech industry. Our chairman, Mr. N. Chandrasekharan, is, uh, is a legendary technologist in India. So we have his support. He gets uh, it. <laughs> he, he gets it, absolutely. He gets it. And in fact, he's at the cutting edge and he pushes us very hard to create uh, one of the best technology organizations in the world. And obviously our, ch our uh, CEO, Mr. Campbell Wilson, is also fully behind the technology initiatives. Um, and sees it as a very important aspect of improving the customer experience. So the entire management team believes fundamentally that technology is a very important component of bettering the operations and the customer experience. And that allows us to you know, do what you're doing successfully. The customers now, as a matter of their preference, they want to come ask a quick question to our AA.G, get a response, rather than you know go through a lot of web pages and so yes. on. Yes, so their, their preferences are changing, customer right? especially the younger changing. generation. Right? Yeah, especially the younger generation. And uh, that also has been helping us a lot in the journey. And we have been telling that uh, the AI in general and the generative AI in particular, the current generation, together with the world of predictive AI, can be a factor of digital reimagination, mm. not just digitization and digital transformation, but now we have the opportunity to go to different level of completely transforming, creating something entirely new in customer experiences and products and business models and business process and so on. So we are in the early stages of doing that uh, with the help of tech partners like Salesforce. It's an exciting time. And obviously, without revealing too many secrets, uh, you know, what's next? What's, you know, what are you being asked or where do you want to take all of this? Yeah, I think, you know, we, we want Air India to be uh, AA uh, infused, right? So we see application of uh, artificial intelligence and especially the combination of the predictive traditional AI as well as machine learning algorithms and the current generation of generative AI capabilities to be all over the company. So we are deploying it heavily in the enterprise space. Uh, for example, we have something called the on-time performance co-pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, it uh, digs into a whole bunch of data sources regarding the on-time performance of aircraft and can answer questions that uh, an executive is asking because on-time performance is a very important yeah, uh, a parameter metric. in the airline. Yeah. And likewise, you know, we are enabling uh, our customers directly with artificial intelligence capabilities as well as through mechanisms like A.G. So we believe that A will be all pervasive, all transformative to the point of reimagination of many of the current sort of things being done in the airline industry. Incredible. So I guess probably my last question would be, is there folks that are just getting started on this journey, where should they start? 
data is at the very center of all of this uh, more than uh, anything else so you need to have a really sound data platform many times the problem in enterprises is that the data is siloed across mm. departments that prevents the full power of the data being you know harnessed right yes so create a data platform that is all encompassing cuts across silos and make it available to the artificial intelligence capabilities and we have a lot of the trust mechanisms right so ensure that the data is not going out of the company and only the right data is being used it is grounded in the right data so all those mechanisms are available uh, with partners like salesforce so use all these mechanisms to ensure that the data is being used by artificial intelligence in a way that uh, makes sense and benefits the customer in a big way well we're very aligned there we do think data is the new gold so yes. to speak and getting your house in order is very important yeah. and i just know i'm going to keep looking to see what uh, you know what you do next oh well, thank you thank you leandro it was a pleasure talking to you and it has been a great experience working with the salesforce team to the point where many times you cannot distinguish a salesforce <laughs> <laughs> person from an Air India person and they feel very passionate about the transformation of Air India so thank you uh, uh, thanks all of Salesforce for making it happen well thank you Dr. Sachi I appreciate thank the time you. thank you Leandro thank you very much